This is my old bedroom studio and this is my new creative home work studio. Let's go! Alright, so some of you may or may not have watched my previous home tour video where I briefly showed you guys around this newly renovated creative workspace of mine which I call home. But yes, I only briefly went through like the design elements of this space but I never really deep dive into you know, the items of this space that makes me super insanely productive, like insane productivity. <laughs> but yeah, I never really deep dive into all the little items that I have here that you know really helps me in my creative workflow as a creative, as a freelance video and filmmaker and also as a YouTuber. So let's begin. So I like to divide my creative studio into three sections. The first one being the storage area, the second one being the living space or the set piece area and last of all the workstation. So let's start off with the storage area first. All right guys, so this is the storage rack and as a filmmaker and a freelance videographer um, I do have quite a bit of gear and small equipment and stuff like that so it is super essential to have a storage rack I got this from Lazada and basically yeah, um, all of my tripods, um, lighting equipment I put it at the bottom um, I also put more like heavy stuff in this bag over here and then on the second rack yeah, I have a printer which I barely use this is my charging station where I charge all of my batteries and on the third rack um, as you can see I have all of these trays from Shopee um, which are really really useful to help you store and compartmentalize all the little equipment that I have and also I have these labels which I use a label printer from Shopee as well this one is called Nimbot it's an infrared printer so it doesn't actually use ink but yeah, it just helps to label everything so that I know which tray is what super handy tool to have and of course on the last rack is just like random things. All right, so this is the secondary desk from myseat.sg again. Beautiful wooden top. It is smooth, matte finish. I'm really liking it. It's very affordable. It's about like $100. So I use this secondary desk more to put like random items and parcels and basically rubbish. Lah. And also I use this as a product backdrop where if I need to feature any products, I can use this desk. Or if anyone needs to come over and do work, then you can also use this desk to do so. So moving along to my main workstation, this is where I create all of my magic over here and very obvious one over here, this seat by Secret Lab. It's a very pricey working chair. It does what it needs to do, I mean it gives all of the support that I need, like the neck support right. Yeah, it's pretty brown, pretty gross, but anyways, yes, and then the lower back support, the lumbar, lumbar support. It looks good. It feels good as a working chair, although I would say it is not like comfy as a couch. It is pretty stiff, so in terms of comfort level, I think it's not really the best, but it does what it needs to do to give me like support to be working on very long hours on the desk. And then of course, right here, the obvious one, over here is my work desk from Omni Desk. And to be very honest, at the beginning, I wasn't even looking for a standing desk because I thought it was pretty gimmicky and I didn't really need it. I bought this desk solely because of their beautiful wooden top over here. This is from their Wildwood series and it's um, the Acacia wooden top. So I really like this medium toned solid wooden desk. And secondly, the reason why I got this desk is because it allows me to manage my cables in a very fast free manner. There's a hole at the back of the desk where I can run my cables down underneath my desk and along with my purchase um, there's a cable management bar that was included and this allows me to tuck all the cables underneath the desk which I think is really really useful and I actually added an additional power clamp or extension bar which was installed by the OmniDesk team and this will significantly reduce the amount of cables dangling down the desk and compared to my older setup which was just horrendous this is just so much more tidier, cleaner and just more pleasant to look. Now for the standing function, I would say it's not really needed but it's always nice to be able to switch things up during work and you know stand up after long hours of sitting down and I would say the usage level is about 10 to 15% to stand up and work. 
And during the weekends, Mel and I would watch shows on the computer and we would shift our couch to the desk. And again, it's really nice to be able to adjust the desk height to the couch level. So it's a very welcomed feature. This desk, I would say, although um, I paid $1,100, so that is really expensive. Yeah, just spending so much money on a work desk is definitely very expensive. For me right now, after using it for a couple of months, I definitely think it's worth it and yeah, beautiful solid wooden top. So no complaints, no regrets, no regrets. And over here, um, this is my PC, which I kind of got it assembled with Aftershock. Uh, Aftershock PC will allow you to customize a PC and assemble it for you and then deliver it to your home. So for me, that's really useful. And then if anything goes wrong, they would be able to service it. And these are my PC specs. It's pretty decent. It cost me 3.2K. So Still all right, it's not the best out there, but it does its job. This monitor is from BenQ. It's a 2.7K resolution, 27 inch monitor. Pretty accurate colors, although I would say the bezels are pretty thick. So if you are very particular about the bezels, you want to have thin bezels, then maybe it's not for you. But for me, it's all right. And, and on the top of the monitor, I have with me this Xiaomi screen bar. For me personally, I think it is absolutely crucial to have your workstation be lit up so that you don't have eye strain when you work long hours in front of the computer screen. So the thing about having a screen bar is that it can be mounted at the top of your monitor. So you don't need to have a desk lamp, which is going to take up a lot of space on the desk. And it draws power from my PC. PC via USB. So I think that is a very, very useful thing. This Xiaomi screen bar, it costs about $80. So it is definitely more on the expensive side, but again, a worth it investment. It comes with this wireless knob over here where you can adjust the brightness of the screen bar and also the color, te color temperature of the screen bar. So you can adjust it according to your um, like ambience lighting, which I think it is really, really good, very useful. So I think one of the many good buys that I have. Okay, and next up, I have with me this Keychron mechanical keyboard. It is very pretty looking. And the thing is, it's really affordable. It's about like $80. I mean, it looks fancy. I'm not really into mechanical keyboards. You can really spend a lot on that. And to me, a keyboard is a keyboard. As long as you can type, can really. And it looks pretty good. There's this fancy like, you know, lights going on in this keyboard when I press it. So that's one thing that I also really like about this keyboard bought from Keychron. And moving on to the mouse that I use, this one is from Steel Series, and I can't really remember the model of it because I bought it from such a long time ago. It's a wired mouse just like my keyboard. Too lazy to change this mouse. And secondly, I didn't want to really deal with charging more equipment. So uh, hence, I just kept using it. It still works great. And below the mouse is a cheap ass $2 mouse pad from Shopee. And I didn't want to get like a desk mat, which would cover quite a big portion of the table. I really like the wooden details of, you know, this Omni desk. Hence, I went with a smaller mouse pad itself which can be quite limiting in terms of range of motion but I could still live with it because I do appreciate this table a lot. Next up I have the speakers from Klipsch. Klipsch. It's a 2.1 speaker system with a subwoofer and uh, the sound is good. That's all I have to say. The sound is good. And over here this is the USB condenser mic that I have from Audio Technica. This is the mic that I use to record all of my voiceovers and I've been using it for 10 years already and it's still working great. The sound quality is good. You can immediately hear the difference. It's got that punch and that clarity. And although I would say I have to do some audio tweaking to make it sound its best, but I mean with the raw sound itself, it's really good enough. I mean, the price is like $100 and I even used it to record all of my singing covers and just really no complaints about this. This mic is pretty damn awesome. So just behind my desk, I mounted a couple of acoustic foam panels to kind of break up the sound and, you know, reduce echoes and reverb in the room as well as these foam panels at the back. And I've also attached some more acoustic panels onto the door. And I would say they reduce about maybe 30%, if not at best 40% of the rooms like reverb or echo. There, you can still hear some reverb going on as I talk right now, but this is the more affordable option for me um, that I got from Shopee. And it's still very important for me to have these foams because I do quite a bit of voiceovers and I want to try and reduce as much echo or reverb going on in this room. And so moving on to this last section, 
kitchen over here. I have with me this studio light from Godox. It's a Godox VL150. This is the studio light that I've upgraded to and the quality of light is definitely a lot better with this big soft box and then a C stand over here and also this is my dry box where I keep all of my camera lenses and all of my camera bodies. And the last section over here would be the kind of like the living space and the concept behind this is basically I just wanted my workstation to feel as homely as possible so this open wardrobe I really really like it it's from Ikea and it you know gives off that Scandi Japandi vibe I have with me a Japanese like lantern over here and so this bamboo plant is from Easy Buy and uh, it's again adds to the whole aesthetics of this place so um that, that is pretty much all I have to show you guys and oh I have a delivery So I just want to thank Creative for sending me this heck of a soundbar. It is definitely a huge step up for my sound system at home. And the soundbar itself has speakers on the top, sides and front to give that spacious sound for your home theatre experience. As well as a separate wireless subwoofer to give that punchy bass for your movies which makes all of the difference. <laughs> 